Hey, Fight fans, welcome to the Fight Network studios. Great news for mixed martial arts fans here in the Great White North as the sport returns to Ontario on June 29th at the George Bell Arena. It is Substance Cage Combat. We're joined by the main eventer, Adrian Woolley, matchmaker Sean Pearson, who also doubles as UFC welterweight, and the promoter, Mr. Neil Forrester. And Neil, uh, we got to talk about why you're having this event here. Clearly, there is a need for fighters from Ontario to, you know, kind of get going and get their uh, their acting gear, so to speak. But why did you feel the need that you wanted to be uh, the guy to host the show? The card came more out of frustration. We had guys in the gym five, six days a week training with no real place to uh, showcase their, their talents and their skill sets. And Adrian's a prime example. He hasn't had a chance to really showcase his skill sets in a while. And we just came uh, came up with an idea to throw our own card in and support the guys. Uh, you must be excited to, to get back in there. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about the age age here, but uh, years definitely ticking away, and you obviously want to get to the biggest show in the world, and that is the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and you have to be active right now. Is that why you're uh, you're taking this fight? Obviously, obviously, it's, uh, you know, anytime I can get an opportunity to get in the cage, I'm going to jump at it. But uh, it's great that it's here, and again, it's in, here in Ontario, and it's uh, against a great opponent, and it's uh, for a great cause here in in, uh, in Ontario. So I'm pumped. about 125 pounds, making your Debut. Fly, flyweight, flyweight debut. debut. Why? Why 125 pounds for you? Uh, that's what I used to wrestle at, and I know that internationally, you know, that's the uh, that's the weight that I had to be competitive at. Uh, the 35ers, they're big kids, and uh, you know, to be competitive at the top level, you know, I'd have to be, you know, probably down where I belong at, at flyweight. So uh, for me, it's just the natural weight. And Sean, just talk about the challenges. Uh, anybody who knows Adrian knows that he's a tough guy, probably Canada's best 125 pound fighter. I'm sure there's not a lot of people lining up to fight this guy right now. No, it's always difficult and I understand why. It's one of those things where, you know, Adrian's not an easy fight for a lot of people. And, you know, people understand that the good records get you into the UFC, but they also don't realize that, you know, right now the UFC is looking at guys like Adrian and a win over someone like Adrian's a big opportunity. Now, you know, obviously there's two sides of that coin because against such a tough an opponent, a loss there, might you know stump you back a couple a couple fights but you know it's it's great that we'll finally got someone to take the fight and uh now we've got two great fighters ready to showcase their skills but it's not just a, a one trick card you also have lots of great talent on the card todd stout can be in action as well as alex ricci a very talented uh, striker uh, what can you tell us about some of the other guys competing on this event i mean that's the beauty of this card that kind of that's the whole point a lot of these guys have been in the gym for a while you know, we've got guys like Abdullah, he's one to know. Ahmed, who's a jiu-jitsu stud who hasn't had a chance to showcase his skill set, so he's making his pro debut. Obviously, Alex Ricci. We all know Adrian's going to be on the card. Todd Stout's undefeated. Elias, who's, you know, 6-0. and So we just have a pool of great talent, and the best part about it is all these guys are from Ontario, so it's amazing. Uh, do you expect these to continue to have shows, or do you expect a guy like Adrian, he gets a victory, uh, it would only make sense that the Ultimate Fighting Championship picked this guy up, considering the fact that the flyweight division is still being developed? Well, you know, I don't want to run before we walk, but there's already been conversation due to the support that we've gotten from everybody from the different gyms, the different retail outlets, uh, everyone in the community has been so supportive. There's been an abundance of fighters wanting to get on this card that we've already started to talk about creating a second card uh, towards the end of the summer. I have had that conversation already with the Athletic Commission. They want to see how this one goes. But the way that things are shaping up, it looks like we're, we're going to be here for a while and we're going to do a few of these a year for sure. And Sean, when you uh, talk about, hear about mixed martial arts, uh, everybody thinks about the UFC. Uh, Ontario, for years, was considered to be the hot pet bed of mixed martial arts. But outside of the UFC, people didn't really know. But there's still great talent. We see guys like Adrian who have fought in elite organizations like TKO. And, and do you believe that the sport is going to continue to grow from a grassroots standpoint? Well, I think the key to growing are these grassroots shows. And with these shows, because what you're going to do is you're going to build fighters. The biggest problem that Ontario fighters have had to date is they haven't had a, an avenue or a venue to build their careers. It's always been, you know, we go to Montreal, we go over here, we go over here to get these fights. We had a short spurt where we had, you know, some Ontario promotions up and going, but it was only, you know, I want to say a two-year period. So I think if we can build with smaller shows and get the, the local fighters more appearances, more face time, we can actually start to build their careers. And with each individual fighter building their career, that's going to be good for the gyms at the grassroots levels too because you're going to get more publicity to each gym with each fighter. So I think only great things can happen with these small promotions building up. And obviously you have the luxury because you've had that same path. You know, you, you've traveled around before making it to the UFC and uh, you you know kind of the, the right way and the, right, the wrong way to, to go about uh, steering the careers of these guys in the right direction. For sure, and really what it's about, it's not the way I did it, but the, the new way is, you know, you, you get two guys and you evenly match people continually. You know what I mean? You got guys with, right now we're trying to, for the most part, five, five fights or less for our first show, and there are a couple 
you know, exceptions to that rule where we got a main event here, but try and build the guys slowly and try and evenly match everybody. And that way get fighters can build their careers and get their confidence going rather than feed everybody the wolves right away and just the strong survive, you know what I mean? Where it's, you feed a guy who's three and oh, let's give him a title shot already. You know, that's not the way we want to do things. I don't think we're going to have titles. It's not on the discussion board yet. Right now, we just want to build fighters, let them fight, and grow their careers to where they want to be. And Adrian, for you, uh, your good friend, Sean, he's good. How refreshing is it that you have a guy that you can kind of follow the same path, a guy that's looking out for your best interests, who has been there, so to speak? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Sean's, Sean's been a pioneer in the sport for a long time, and, and uh, he's going to continue to, to be that person that all of us look up to uh, as far as, as being that guy. So it's, it's perfect for me as, as him to be uh, uh, my manager slash friend. <laughs> was that a short joke at him looking up to me? Because I thought it was. I, I thought it was a short joke. But last I wasn't going to let it slide. Last thing I have to ask, uh, where can people get tickets? Tickets are going to be available this Friday at TicketBreak.com. Uh, they'll be available at 10 a.m. on Friday. Again, TicketBreak.com. There will be some retail outlets. If you go to our uh, Twitter handle, which is Substance Combat, it will also let you know which retail outlets will be selling tickets. Um, and, you know, I just, I just want to point out that this card, even though I'm the promoter, wouldn't have been possible without the support of guys like Sean, like Alin, uh, like Wild Wing, Rick Smicklis has been very supportive of this. NOS Energy Drinks jumped on board to help kind of put this together. This is not a money-making endeavor by any means. We're, we're trying to get 1,000 people into an arena, a local arena, and just be able to get the fighters to showcase their skills and for the greater good of the sport. The action goes down June 29th at the George Bell Arena. You definitely want to see all the action.